Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Peony Yip. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up this photograph of myself. And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the layer. So I have two copies of it. And then on the top layer, going to go Image, Adjustments, Invert. And then I'm going to go to the Adjustment Layer icon down the bottom there. And I'm going to go up to Hue Saturation and I'm going to turn the saturation right the way down and then close that menu. And then on the middle layer, I'm going to go to the drop down menu above and I'm going to choose Color Dodge. And that's going to turn my image almost white. So I'm going to go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and I'm going to turn it to 100 pixels. You might need to choose different, but on this image 100 pixels works nicely to give me what is beginning to look like a pencil drawing instead of a photo. I'm then going to create a new layer and then I'm going to go to image and then apply image and then click OK and that's going to give me the same image again on its own layer. But this one, we're going to go Filter, Filter Gallery. And we're going to scroll down to the Brush Strokes area and choose Crosshatch. And make sure we've got a stroke length of 5, a sharpness of 10, and a strength of 1. And we click OK. And that will give us a little bit more of a kind of sketchy feel to the drawing. OK, you can see the difference there. It's just a little bit sharper, a little bit more sketchy. OK, right, I've also found this image of a lion roaring on Google. So I'm going to do the same thing. Duplicate the layer and then image adjustments invert. And then I'm going to go to the adjustment layer icon. Click hue saturation, bring the saturation right down and then close that menu. And then in the middle layer, I'm going to go to the drop down menu, choose color dodge, and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm not going to go to 100 with this one. I'm going to keep it at around 25, otherwise it will go too dark. And that's this particular image done. So I'm going to right click on the top layer and go to flatten image. And that's going to turn it all into one layer. I'm then going to go to Adjustments, Channel Mixer, and I'm going to whip everything up to the top because it by default is on red and I want my image to be red. Click OK and I now have everything as a red image. All right. I'm going to use the Rectangle Select tool to select the whole thing. Press Control C to copy it, then go back to my image of myself and press Control V to paste my lion in. OK, and now I'm using the arrow tool to just resize the lion. Now, at this point, I can't see myself and I would like to, to be able to uh, position the lion in the right place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this where I think it should be. And then I'm going to go to the drop down menu above and I'm going to choose multiply. And that's going to allow me to see a blend of the two images. And now I can resize knowing where my face is compared to the lion's head. Okay, looking good. Right, then I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm just going to bring the brightness of my lion down a little bit and the contrast actually up, but only a tiny bit. There we go. Click OK. All right. And now I don't want to see the lion going off the page. So what I'm going to do is make sure that my color picker is white and I'm going to go to the gradient tool and I'm going to make sure I've got white and transparent selected and then drag the handles on the lion layer just around the side and the bottom so that I make it kind of fade out. Okay and how much you do this and whether you do this is up to you. All right, and then I'm just going to go 
back to my image of myself and do the same image adjustments, brightness, contrast, and just bring down the brightness on myself a little bit. So I'm a little bit more bold as well. And that is this image done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.